welcome back viewers to the second episode of Parkan the Imperial Chronicles walkthrough. When we left we were on a mission to move damaged transport to orbit planet 3. <laughs> the translation on this game. So of course we don't have to move it because we have no tractor beam. We have to turn on the autopilot and then protect the transport from the pirates. So let's go there. Autopilot engaged. So let's explain this while we are en route. This is the energy distribution system and we have a weak generator right now because it was damaged when we jumped or I don't know, part of it was lost maybe. So we can only supply half an energy to the system if we fully supply energy to one system. Or we could supply energy to two of the systems at once or four of them at once. So what we want to do is choose wisely according to our basically conditions. Autopilot engaged. And the engine obviously gives us maximum speed, the radar gives us the distance at which we can spot enemies, the shield absorbs incoming hits, and the gun lets us fire. So as I said, the simulation in this game is pretty basic, but there are interesting quirks and tricks. Like here, we have mines, and you can drop mines in the way of our enemy and kill him that way without ever approaching him. So as you see, his life support, computers and translation edit again, his crew and his maneuver is destroyed along with his computers. So he's basically a sitting duck now, he's useless. So we can dock to him, steal his stuff and then kill him. So let's do just that. Well, he had nothing, unfortunately. But like, if he would have some loot, like fuel, it could be destroyed when we destroy him. And fuel is almost destroyed, I think, but... Things like missiles, if they can be dropped or they can be destroyed. So you really want to dock to the ship and retrieve its loot instead of just like killing it outright. Autopilot engaged. So again, gun lets us fire weapons. And as you can see, we can only choose two systems. Uh, these two systems, these two systems, these or these. So we can only choose four four different groups of two systems and basically when they travel we want to put our energy to the radar so that we can encounter trading ships because we will only stop to trade if we can see the trading ship but at the same time we would want to have our shield up when we encounter enemies so that's why i'm currently going in flight mode so i have engines and shield up so again we could fight him fairly but we can also board him like this even if his crew is still alive and then we could kill everybody on board and he would become harmless at the same time, we could steal all his loot, like his fuel here, which otherwise would be destroyed in the crash. And as you can see, those enemies, they are not really a threat, like, here he is, come on man, fire at me. Like, I can basically stand here for some time before he kills me, and he dies very quickly. So really, this is 
way better than actually fighting them in space. And this is like one gripe I have with this game, is that in this game it makes no sense to fight in space, it's, 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 it's not actually good. You are way off, better, way better, if you board everybody, because if you board, you kill them using your first person shooter hit, po hit points, which you can easily restore, which costs you nothing. You don't risk your ship, you don't risk being destroyed, you don't risk losing, like, like, sustaining damage to your ship, which you have to repair. And it's faster and it gives you more loot. So, like, there's no point actually fighting in space, because it's way easier to just fight this way. Okay, so here's a transport, and as you can see, its weapons are disabled. And that makes this transport pretty useless, <laughs> because it cannot fire, and it's a big hulk of a ship, which is easily hit, and that's, that's why these missions are kinda hard, because this transport would get just destroyed by the enemy. Simple as that, if the enemy would approach. And you're supposed to dock the transport, engage the autopilot, and then escort it, but the trick is, Enemies are already here. The enemies are spawned when you encounter the transport. So the enemies are here in front of us and they are already going for the transport. So what we can do is we can intercept them far away from the transport and this way they will not reach the transport and the transport will be safe. So we are going to do just that. Here they come. And since it's not very easy to aim this way with a the keyboard, there's a manual control mode. Manual control engaged. Which basically lets you aim with the mouse, which is way better. So let's aggro them. So now, they are all after us, and it's not an easy battle against four ships. So what we can do is we can run away, and since they have the same AI on all the ships, all the ships will kinda collide with each other, and they will start hitting each other because they go inside, like the ship goes inside another ship, as you see. They start hitting each other now. Only the first ship is firing at us, other ships are firing at these front ships. And so, eventually, only one ship remains like this. And now, we can actually go after this ship. So here it is. Let's board him. Okay, mate. So, let's kill his crew. No one here. Okay, he's dead. You have to kill every single robot in order to disable the ship properly. And so now they are all basically dead. By using this trick, we only have to fight one of them. The one which survives the brawl. <laughs> so let's kill him. Wow! Okay. Next! Let's get this one. Oh, 
This one also had its crew wiped out by the spice attack, so he has no one on board. Let's put him out of his misery. Okay, next. Wow, 100 fuel. This one is fucking rich. Okay, his crew is dead too, I think. Yes. Oh, and he has missiles. Good. You are dead, piece of meat. No, you are dead, actually. Okay, and there's only one left. He's actually alive, but he still has something wrong with his ship. Oh yeah, he has no weapons, no engines, no computers, and no maneuver. So we can just dock to it. Go kill him. And get some loot. Die, you son of a bitch. What's here? Oh, fuel. Good. Okay. And let's kill him too. Manual control engaged indeed. man yeah now our transport control disabled. is safe to proceed so we just have to dock to it and enable the autopilot uh, fun fact is you can see here it says that his crew is actually alive because the crew is not uh, red but when we dock there is nobody on board so what has happened to this ship, one might ask. Like, is this the Flying Dutchman with the ghost crew? <laughs> yeah, anyway, this makes no sense. Because normally... There should be a crew on board. Otherwise the crew should be red, the crew indicator. Okay, so we did the autopilot. Wow, thing. So now we can go. And now, as you see, the ship starts to move towards the planet. And when it reaches the orbit, we will have a mission complete message. So I guess, meanwhile, I can explain how planets work in this game. The planet has four indicators. It has temperature, atmosphere, organic and resources temperature means how hot it is on the planet obviously and the less temperature there is the more fuel the robots consume to sustain themselves then there is atmosphere i don't remember what it does maybe it affects the organic production there's organic which is used to produce stuff and there's resources which is used to make fuel and each planet can have mines and planets of organic can have factories, which are called plant here. So as you can see, this planet has level 3 mines and level 3 factories. And this has level 5 mines and no factories, obviously because it has no organic resource on it. <laughs> so, some planets are already colonized with a clan like this the sector. Is completed. Yellow sector is inhabited by clan Hammer. And some planets are not, they are, uh, how do you say, deserted, but they still have pirates on them. But you can colonize them and make them your own. 
and as you can see this planet is quite good to make fuel when you colonize a planet you just basically receive a planet which makes fuel for you for free every hour which is really great because these missions they don't pay enough like we have 1600 fuel right now that's that's very little amount because to jump to another star system it can cost like 7000 fuel so this amount is nothing we need way more fuel and missions they don't pay much so as you can see like 500 fuel you can go up to 2000 but it's very hard you have to have a very rich planet and perfect relationship with the clan to have this amount of payment so really having your own planets is way better source of fuel than doing missions and trading and like getting loot from pirates to sell so the way this indicator works is for the resources uh, levels of the mine just means more robots harvest uh, the fuel so you get more fuel harvested and one such mechanical embryo can spawn two robots one worker robot and one guard robot and one level is two worker robots so level one mines means two robots work there and level two mines means four robots work there and so on for the mines every level is just more space to mine fuel for the factory first level is production of like repairs for your ship and restoring the corpses or remains rather to this state level two and three are for missile production level four to eight four five six seven are drone production and level eight is ship production so you can build ships to protect the planet so let's save real quick so right now we will colonize this planet to make it our own and these transmog <laughs> these cartridges they're supposed to be called these are what is required to upgrade your planet these contain certain programs and subroutines which teach the robots advanced like procedures and so you need to have this in order to make better mines and better factories without this cartridge you can only have two levels of the mine and one level of the factory And so you need the geologist cartridge to build mines level 3 plus you need technologist cartridge to produce missiles then i believe it's the engineer to produce drones and scientists to produce ships and it might seem like this is like free fuel like you just colonize a planet and it gives you fuel that's that's basically way too good to be true right yes so thing is pirates can assault your planet and destroy all your robots and take your fuel and when you return it says on the computer that like we got wiped out the pirates attacked us and stole our robots and stole our fuel but i never had this happen to my planet before i think it can happen but it's really rare like you mostly encounter it on other clan planets and also if you can build ships on your planet these ships can kind of somehow protect you from this i don't know maybe you never see it happen so i don't know maybe it happens maybe it doesn't then again if you kill all the pirates in the system the planet is also safe so okay so we can exit this planet and as you can see we're fired upon immediately by the enemy robots so there are pirates here and the way to colonize a planet you can actually you don't actually have to do anything except you have to go to the computer and you have to deposit two mechanical embryos and this is supposedly enough to wipe all the remaining pirates and take the planet which is insane because this planet can have like 20 enemies on it like how did two of your guard robots and two of your worker robots eliminate all of them but but they do so here are the docks and you can see there are multiple landing pads but you can only see your ship ever in the game you never see another ship docked so this is this doesn't serve any purpose it's cosmetic 
Anyways, let's go on. And I want to kill some robots, so we will not do this quick strat. We will just kill everybody we see. So let's do just that. Okay. What the hell? Die! Okay, let's go on a rampage and kill everybody. So some of the rooms in this game are kind of tricky to navigate. Like, here you can just walk. But some of the rooms you have to actually do some other stuff, like climb, for example. So, while this robot walked down this hallway, it was a scripted event, so he was immune to damage. Like, when the robots, they cross the doors, there's no point firing at them, they are immune. Otherwise, you can kill them very easily. So in this game, you can actually crouch, as you have seen before. And you can also climb. Let's go here then. And this is required. Like, for example, this room. If we arrived from here and we wanted to get there, how do we do it? There is no lift. So we have to crouch and we have to climb this wall. Our suit is equipped with some magnetic stuff, which can allow us to attach to walls and then we can get up here. On some planets in this kind of room where you have to climb or duck or kind of find a way, there will be special loot hidden. But this here it's just simply way forward, I guess. So the way these planets are layout, the layout of these planets is generated, I think, is kind of procedural because you often see certain elements in certain places and it looks like it was like built from blocks not a preset layout and it's really cool for the time but maybe it's some specially crafted layouts i don't know there's no like good f faq for this game <laughs> so right now we killed almost everybody and so we come here and uh, so this is the information screen for the planet, and here it says that the mines need mechanical embryos and that the robots produce 54 and consume 14. So this is awesome. We can get 40 fuel an hour from one robot or 400 if we put 10 robots to work. Just doing nothing. This is awesome. So let's do it. Let's deposit two embryos. And if we leave now, the planet will be ours. But... We could put four so that we immediately have mines maxed out or we could put the cartridge here and then we can put ten. And this is the maximum amount of workers we can put to the mines. And since this planet has no organic resources, that's all we can get from it really. So let's do it. And now we leave the planet and when we depart, we will hear this sweet sound. colonized by Parkan. Yep, and as you can see we have workers now working in the mines and our mines are maxed out already. To demonstrate, let's Autopilot fly engaged. somewhere and return. Okay, that's Autopilot far enough. Autopilot Autopilot engaged. So now some time has passed and we can land on the planet and we can have our robots give us the fuel that we made. Which is awesome because we get fuel for free. 
don't have to do those missions. So here we are. As you can see, there go our robots. Go to the storage boss, it's full of fuel. <laughs> yeah. And here is the freebie. Fuel. We can just pick it up like that. There is no way to actually get it, like, transfer it to our ship. We have to go and pick it up manually, so we already got, like, what, 6x4? That's 240 of fuel for free. Let's get some more. 280. And 320, 360. 400. And when the robot opens the door, you cannot open the door yourself, so you have to wait. Okay, 480. Feel free to get any items. Yeah, and you can hit them. Oh, you can kill me. <laughs> they don't like it, obviously. So, one problem with this is that items can spawn anywhere on the planet. So, there are multiple spawn points, like here in the mines. There's fuel here. And this means that you have to visit all these lots of rooms on the planet, like mines go down five levels deep, obviously, to get all the fuel from the planet. So in order to not do that, because that would be tedious, you can just visit the stores and like the most easy to reach spawn points, get the fuel and depart. And come back. When you do that, uh, items get respawned, and so in the spawn points you have harvested, new fuel will wait for you, but it will be just less of it there. So, like here, we visit the same warehouse, like the same stores we have been to before. And here's the fuel again, but it's less of it now. So you can just visit your planets two or three times to get most of its fuel and then basically leave them to produce more. And you don't have to do it constantly because as I said I never had my planet raided by the pirates so you can just leave them to produce and basically come back once in a while to get the fuel in bulk. So I feel this would be a good place to end this episode. We have got our first planet and we are established on the way to become rich. And when, when we return, we will continue on our quest to steal the jumper from Clown Hammer. So, thank you all for watching and see you in the next episode. Bye!